Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called Comparison Operators, and in this video we're going to be diving a little deeper into something we've been kind of playing around with for the past few lectures. So let's jump right in. In your Code Dynamic Websites course files folder, we are in 14 Comparison Operators. Open up your code editor and make sure to have your final and practice.php files open. As usual, practice.php is the plain skeleton we're going to be using to build what is in final.php final.php or the final example looks like this. We have a series of comparison operators and we have some text in under it and we're using the above comparison operator to achieve this result in PHP. So let's jump right into the lecture. At this point we've been playing around with PHP variables, arrays, and if statements. In nearly every lecture so far we've seen the equals symbol. You probably have a basic understanding that it sets a value to a variable, like so. Variable my name and the equal sign. After that, a string of text which says Brad, followed by a semicolon. So the equal sign doesn't actually mean in this case my name is equal to Brad. It means assign Brad to the variable my name. In the PHP world, the equal symbol is called an assignment operator. It basically assigns the value on the right to the variable on the left. There are many assignment operators, but we'll get into those once we've been introduced to the many other types of operators in PHP. First, we'll start with the comparison operator. Comparison operators allow you to compare multiple elements. You can compare whether elements are equal, exactly equal, or identical, greater than, less than, plus a few more combinations of the above. Here's a handy dandy little table provided by php.net. So here you can see I have in the example a variable and then the operator in between. So the first one, we have the equal comparison operator. Looks like this. The result is true if A is equal to B. The next one, we have identical, which means true if A is equal to B and they are of the same type. Please note that this is for PHP 4 and up only. And I have a little nifty PHP function spitting out the type, uh, the version of PHP you're using. I'm using 5.3.2. So we're good to go on this one. Just to expand a little bit on this one, it's a little bit confusing at first because what's the difference between equal and identical? Isn't equal and identical the same? Well, not necessarily. We're going to jump into that in our final example. But just to give you a heads up, Let's say, for example, A is the integer 1, and B is a string with the number 1 in between those strings. Those are not identical. So we'll dive further into that a little bit later. The next one, not equal. It's true if A is not equal to B. The next one is also not equal. It's just a different way of writing it. So it's true if A is not equal to B. The next one is not identical. So kind of the same thing as identical. True if A is not equal to B or they are not of the same type. So same thing. If this was an integer and this was a string and they're not identical, that's how you use that comparison operator. We'll get into that a little later as well. The next one is A is less than B. True if A is strictly less than B. It's pretty straightforward. The next one is greater than, which is true if A is strictly greater than B. Strictly meaning not equal to or greater than, because that's the next set of comparison operators. So this is less than or equal to. True if A is less than or equal to B. And the next one is greater than or equal to, which is true if A is greater than or equal to B. Here is an example of how you would use one of the above comparison operators, just to get your feet a little wet. So years on earth, 14. If years on earth is less than or equal to 25. Echo, your age is less than or equal to 25. So in this case, because the variable is the integer 14, it is in fact less than 25. If this variable was 25, it would also echo your age is less than or equal to 25. Hopefully that's straightforward enough. So feel free to experiment with all of the above comparison operators with some PHP. 
if else and else if statements using the practice.php provided in this folder, which we are going to get into right now. So let's go to our code editor. All right, let's start off with our constants. And we have the title, which is comparison operators. Next up, we have our custom variables, which is my name and the lesson number, which is 14 in our code dynamic websites course files folder. Let's go ahead and add those things in here. PHP echo the title, copy that, paste it between our small tag in the level one heading. Lesson number, let's echo our lesson num variable. Down at the very, very bottom, we have our year. Let's use PHP to dynamically echo the date and the year within the date function. And then our name, PHP echo my name variable. Perfect. All right, let's go back to our custom variables. And let's start adding some new variables that we're going to be using in this lecture. So years on earth. Note that I'm using the camel case. I just added a couple tabs there just because I want it to look nice and tidy when I add the next variables. You'll see what I mean. Not important or required, but looks nice. You'll see. So 25.32, an exact integer. The next one, let's do favorite, favorite I meant to say favorite, note that I'm using the proper spelling of the word favorite, string num, hit tab, equals. Okay, so what this means is, well, but the variable, what I'm trying to reference is, I'm not going to put the integer one, I'm going to put the number one within a string. That's very different than the integer one. And when we're using our identical operator, this is not identical to the integer one. So you'll see how that works a little later on. Next one, birth country, a couple tabs, Canada. In this case, just start off by putting Canada. And once you want to play with this uh, script that you're going to be building, you can change this to your own birth country or any other birth country that you want. But for now, just do Canada so we have the same result. Perfect. Let's go down to our sandbox. You'll see I have a few skeleton kind of starter things for you here. I already have PHP scripts with the your code here comment flag so that you can kind of get started quicker rather than typing everything out. And you're welcome. All right, so let's start with the equal to operator. So in our first PHP script, if in our, uh, we're gonna need to put an expression here. So if years on earth, is equal to 25.32, then let's echo your age is equal to, whoops, equal to, and then we can echo the variable here. Since we're already in PHP, we don't have to write echo, years on earth. So equal to, if years on earth is equal to 25.32, your age is equal to years on earth. Let's check it out. Final example, your example, here we go. Equal to, your age is equal to 25.32. Now, if you changed your variable to 25.31, nothing would come up because it is not equal to 25.31. Let's change that back. All right, now let's blast through these other ones. Identical. So, if, let's add an else if as well, and then our fallback else. Perfect. First expression, if fav favorite string num is identical to the integer one, then echo your favorite number is an integer. Else if the expression will be Favorite string num is identical to the string one. Echo. Your favorite number is a string called one. Else, let's fall back to you must have a different 
oops, different favorite number than one, the integer, or string. All right, so let's check that out. Let's see what result we get. Identical, your favorite number is a string called one. And that is because up here in our, our custom variables, we have the string one. What happens if we change that to the integer one? Your favorite number is an integer because it knows that it is not the string one. It's not identical to the string one. What if we change this to a different number? You must have a different favorite number than one, the integer or a string. That is exactly right. Let's change it back. Now let's go back down to not equal. If. And in our expression here, birth country is not equal to Mexico, then echo you, whoops, excuse me, senor. Remember the N with the tilde on top. If you're using Coda 2, you can go processing and code entities or use ampersand N T I L D E semicolon to get the N with the tilde. You must not be from around here. All right, so let's check that out. Excuse me, senor, you must not be from around here. And that is correct because my birth country is Canada. What if it was Mexico? Nothing because we don't have anything to deal with that case, but it's working because it's checking to see if it's not equal to Mexico, which is correct. All right, so not identical. Let's move on to the next one. If, let's add an else at the end of that. And our first expression will be years on earth is not identical to 25. Remember, that we're gonna put this in a string, 25.32, the string. Echo. You are not exactly the string years on earth. Now note that I put this variable within single quotation marks, it's a single string here because the outside ones are doubles. If I were to put double strings here like this, you'll see something where it happens. It uh, changes the color. Coda lets me know that something's kind of changed here. You might be using a code editor that doesn't let you know, but what happens is in PHP, if you have an opening string, you need to have a closing string of the exact same type, which means it ends that bit of PHP. So right here, this is where it ends. And so we're going to get an error and these don't really matter. What this does is just creates an error for us. So I need to use single quotation marks if I'm using them within double quotation marks. Now remember the same goes for the other way around. If I'm using single quotation marks, which you can very well do on the outside, inside quotation marks need to be doubles. They need to alternate. See how it's the same color now? The other option is let's say you're using double quotation marks and the inside, we also want to use double quotation marks. So say for example, I wanted them to show double quotation marks rather than singles. I can use the backslash before the double quotation marks on the inside like this. And then here as well. And we're good to go here. So basically this allows us to use uh, the double quotation marks within double quotation marks. Same goes for single quotation marks. Inside single quotation marks, I need to use the backslash before the, each of the instances. And now this allows us to use singles and singles or doubles and doubles. So hopefully that wasn't too much, but I wanted to let you know because it is actually quite important to know you could run across those issues uh, a lot in PHP. So let's try this out and see what this, see if this lets us uh, use double quotation marks. Let's finish the else first. So we're going to echo. You are exactly the string years on earth. Whoops. 
And in here, I'm just going to use singles inside the double. Now let's check it out. You are not exactly the string 25.32. Do you see how we're using the double quotation marks here? That's because I put the backslashes before it. What if I took them out? What happens? Let's just have a look. Broken. We have an error. Big white page. PHP cannot comprehend. So let's leave our backslashes there. So there we go. We have both examples for you to check out. Okay, so let's move down to less than. We're going to use PHP if our expression will be less than num is less than 15. So if less than num is less than 15, then echo you haven't quite made it to less than 15 yet. All right, let's check it out. You haven't quite made it to lesson 15 yet. And that is exactly right, because here we are in tutorial 15 in our code dynamic websites course files folder. And we said the lesson num variable is 14. So we are less than 15. All right, greater than let's move to greater than you might have a good idea of how this works already. So if lesson num, whoops, not cookie, lesson num is greater than 10, then echo, you've made it past lesson 10. So let's check it out. Are we greater than lesson 10? You've made it past lesson 10. That is correct because our variable for lesson num is 14. Less than or equal to if statement and our expression will be less than num is less than or equal to 14. If it is less than or equal to 14, let's echo. The variable less than num is less than or equal to 14. Check it out. 14 is less than or equal to 14. That is exactly correct. Greater than or equal to. And last one here, if statement, our expression will say less than num, greater than or equal to four. In here, we're gonna echo something if the less than num variable is greater than or equal to four. Less than num is greater than or equal to Save it, check it out. 14 is greater than or equal to 4. Exactly. So that's basically all of the good ex all of the examples we're using here in the comparison operators. And feel free to play around with this now. You already have something to work with. Change the variables to different numbers, different combinations of strings and integers, and change your birth country, change the lesson number if you want, so on and so forth. Even come up with your own variables and just try it out for fun and see what it looks like. And uh, yeah, just have fun with them using the equal, identical, not equal, not identical, less than, greater than, greater than, or equal to, and less than or equal to. Play around with all of them. Change the if statements, change the else if statements, everything like that. And uh, keep playing around with it until you have a good idea, a good grasp on how this whole thing works in PHP. It's incredibly useful. I would suggest playing around in the sandbox just a little bit more. All right, so once you're done doing that, see you in the next lecture, which will be logical operators. Awesome, fun, see you there.